In Windows, we group and compress files using zip files. But on Unix systems such as Linux, tar files are more common. In .NET 7, we can create cross-platform tar files easily in C Sharp. Let's see how in this 10 minute training video. Now for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. And here I have already set up since a TARS are essentially an archive, a grouping of files into one file. I've got two folders here I wanna show off. We have the source folder, which has just three text files. They're actually empty documents, but uh, three text files in our source. We have nothing in the root directory of the TAR demo, just, um, just these two folders. And extracted has nothing in it. So we're gonna change that by writing some code. And this here is a .NET 7 uh, version of a console application. So I'll start writing some code. We're gonna start with a using statement, using system.formats.tar. Again, this is something new in .NET 7. So let's say, let's create a tar file from the directory source. So we're gonna say tar file dot create from directory and there is an async version as well. And we're gonna say, let's do the at symbol in front of this in order to give the, um, the ability to do uh, the exact string we type in. This is um, allows us to put the slashes in, in Windows. And this is a Windows path, but that's why I'm on as Windows. So tar demo slash source. And again, if I didn't have the string literal character here, then I need to put double slashes here in order to escape the slash. But with a string literal, I can just put the single slash. Okay, now let's place on new lines because we're gonna have some length here. That's the first thing, that's a source directory name. The next is, we're not gonna do a stream here, we're going to do the destination file name. So the destination file name is like so, again, string literal. And we'll say it's in the tar demo slash, let's just call this um, demo.tar. And the final option here is do you want to include the base directory? So we're going to a, we're going to grab the files in the source directory, but I don't really care to put the source uh, directory in there as well, just the files inside of it. So I'm gonna say false for this. All right. Now um, Visual Studio is very helpful here and tell me those three options are again, now that I've completed all three, which is really nice. And what we're gonna do is right away, now that we have, this creates the tar file. Let's go ahead and extract it. And this just gives you both sides of the coin here. You don't have to create and then obviously create and then extract right away, but let's say you have a tar file you want to extract or you get tar files you need extracted. No problem. You can create just this extraction part or maybe you want to just back things up. Well, just create a tar file is all you need. So again, tar file dot extract to directory. We're going to use the regular version, not the async version, but there is an async version. We'll go to a new line here and we'll say, again, let's start with the path to our our file. And then we need the path to where to extract it to. So we're not gonna do a source, we're gonna do extracted. And then finally, do you wanna overwrite the files if they're already existing? We're gonna say false for this. That's probably your default is to not overwrite, but it's up to you if you want to always overwrite the files there or if you want to not. But that's your choice. So that's all it takes to extract to a directory. Let's run this. There's nothing to show you on the screen as far as running out. We could close it right away. We're just gonna execute and be done. So we're gonna run it and we're done. And notice the demo.tar show up in the folder. And then in the extracted folder, we now have those three files. So it has taken the source files, put them into a demo.tar file. And then what it has done is taken that demo.tar file and extracted it into this folder. 
So that's the basics of how to create tar files and how to extract tar files in C sharp in C sharp seven. Now uh, let's tweak this C right here just to be more consistent. Now there's a lot more you can do here with um, reading from streams and using gzip and all this other cool stuff you can do. But I think that gets you started with these files. Again, you can do async. Uh, I encourage use of async whenever you're trying to do anything like this, where it takes some some I/O on the on the drive. So. With that, that's the basics of TAR. If you want this source code, not much to it, but if you want the source code, there's a link down in the description to download the source code. Also, um, let me know what your thoughts are on using this. And if you intend to use it in your code or if you have a already use for this you've been waiting for in C Sharp. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.